All right, welcome to this part of the tutorial where we're going to look at how to create the ball and add some uh, some, some physics properties to it. Um, this is a very simple tutorial, really. Uh, this part of the tutorial, we're just going to look at adding a static uh, object. And um, later on in the next tutorial, you'll learn how we can create a force that's going to impact the ball uh, to demonstrate Newton's laws. So in this one, it's a very basic one. We're going to the library and we're going to choose a sphere as a three three dimensional building object so if you're into the library there just click on building scroll along till you see the uh the sphere and then drag it onto your uh, model now you might want to have a look around to see how centralized it is to see to make sure that it's quite central uh, we want to give the kicker a chance a fair chance and make it as realistic as possible um, we're not going to change the size of the ball unless you really want to. It looks like it's a decent size ellipse uh, as a sphere. Um, what we are going to do is add a little surface material to it to make it look more like a ball. And if you double click the um, the ball there and go into the materials, um, we'll look at changing the name in a second, um, you'll find that the, um, the sphere or the ellipsoid has uh, a few um, surface skins there. And one of them is a football, so we're going to choose a football for this one. Again, feel free to adjust it according to your model. Okay, we're going to choose the football for that one, and then just turn that menu off. And we're going to change the name of this to ball. We're also going to change the setting for code so that we can use the ball inside the coding um, later on. And we're also going to change the physics. Now, this is quite crucial because this object is the one that's going to demonstrate the balanced and unbalanced forces that are acting upon uh, this object. So we want to make sure the physics is turned on. We're also going to make sure that there is a precise collision. Now, what that means in this model is um, you may have noticed the, the, the wire frame or the, um, the, the white frame that goes around an object. Let me just show you that more clearly. If you zoom in and see that, let's reduce this menu. So every object, as you've seen, has a wireframe around it, which is almost like a cube. Now, when we play with physics in this model, what you'll find is that that cube uh, is the surface area um, of, of, the, of the animation or whatever the interaction happens with other objects. So if you imagine this, this, this ball rolling towards the, the goalkeeper or the goal, um, the the, the cube around it will actually act as a surface. Um, we don't want that, so we're going to use precise collision. And what that does is it enables the model to take into account the actual surface, so the spherical surface of the football, which is what we want to see. We want to see how that football reacts when we contact with its surface and not the white cube frame around it. So make sure that's, that's precise collision turned on. Set static would mean this object does not move, um, so we actually want it to move, so we're going to leave that as it is. And then mass in kilograms. Now, I don't think footballs are five kilograms, so we're just going to reduce that down to one. Um, or if you really want to add a couple of kilograms, footballs are quite bouncy, so in terms of its um, flexibility, there we're going to turn it on to be a little bit bouncy. So let's put it down to 0.3. And then the friction, so it has a little bit of friction um, because of the surface le uh, being leather. We'll just leave that as it is. And there you have it. You've created your object that we're going to apply a force to. At the moment, there are no forces being applied to this. It's just a static ball. But we turn the physics on, and then you'll be able to see what happens when we apply some forces to it. Okay.